Okay guys, we are going to do another um, poker game, I'm Natty Lights, and this will be my picture like always. Okay guys, so I will be down below, right there. Um, I did put paper up for this guy because he showed his real picture, so just for uh, privacy reasons. Um, okay, let me start the game now. Okay, so this is the first round. Let me turn up the volume a little bit. Because we got 420, sorry for that. I'm missing, like, what was it? Money for the gizmo. And I'm missing money for the patches, but this says 480, sorry. So this game was a little stupid. Everybody, like, was doing a lot of bluffing and raising. So on the very first hand, um, three people went all in. And the girl on the right got lucky with getting three tens at the last minute. Which brought us down to three people. And once again, everybody wanted to go all in. So this time I went along with them. I did have a pair of sevens with an ace high. And it was just that type of game. So I was like, you know what, go for it. It worked out. So now it's down to just me and this other girl. She is a huge bluffer. Uh, I can't say she's a bad person because she was polite, showed her cards, and at the end said good game. But um, she was half easy to beat, half hard to beat because she raised so much and it was just so much bluffing. And you all know that I hate people who bluff. So I lost some hands to like a three high. Like it was kind of crazy. They're saying that our funds will be released on the 17th. But it was also worked my favor because when I did have good hands, I could get her to follow me and I could raise and then take all her money. Which is what I kind of did. So, this is 34 hands. Um, it's not often that on your first hand you lose two people. And on your second hand you lose the other person. And you're down to two. So, we were automatically in the money by the third round. But had I not gone all in on the second round, this would not have happened. She just got lucky with that first round. And ended up being the biggest bluffer probably at the table, but that's just a guess since everybody got sent packing right away. So the blinds are 2040, and she made every single hand a raise. And she would raise, like, on really awful hands. It was very confusing, but when I started realizing what her hands were, I was. It was easier for me to figure out ways to trap her. And that's how I like to play. I like to trap people. So here she has a straight, and of course, I knew there was a straight out there, but I wasn't sure if she was bluffing and pretending to have a straight. And this is how I lost hands because of that, or we would go so far into raising, and then at the last second I would just stop, like this one for example. We both had a jack high, but I didn't know that. So here I'm losing. but. We change this up a bit. I get three eights, which works out really well, and she's the one raising. Oh, okay. All the money is accounted for. 
And the holding. Because you did 423, if you remember, out of the accordion because of the 75 hours and some cents and fees. So I have a full house here. Okay, we're good. So I go all in. This time, she actually didn't go for it. Which was a shame, because I would have got a lot of money for that one. 6-3 wasn't worth it to me. I did do some raising, mostly when I thought I had her. 6-9 again, it's just not worth it, and the blinds are so low, they're only at 40-80 right now, it's just because she was raising constantly, at, like, no matter what her hand was. It was very strange, she's so aggressive, and I... I never really saw anyone that aggressive with like kind of stupid bluffing because I mean I win this round I win the game I mean and even though she's always ahead of me like she has 3 one fifty, I think it was and I have 17-30 so I'm constantly losing, but like, you could also use that to your advantage, because if you get the good hand, you play along with her, and then at the end you take all her money. So, that's what my goal was. So this is 17 out of 34 hands, so obviously it took a little while, but... Some of these hands were just such a shame, like a 10 king of clubs, like I, it's a good hand and like, then you look at the board and nothing really comes up. I mean, it worked out okay because she's bluffing with a high card of a 9, which is crazy, and I did have a pair. So I win, and this is how I won the game. Again, 410, like, I'm not willing to put in that much money for a 410. Something like a pair of fours, I just can't put it down. So she has two jacks. Also trying for a straight, but then I have three fours. So for me, this was the perfect time to raise. So, 580, 1.96k, and that puts me in the lead. So that's it. We're at 22 out of 34. Four, I had a 4.7, put it down. Again, blinds are only 50, 100. I mean, she's raising with a 2.10, it's like odd. This one I messed up. I fold and I had a queen high. 
Most likely I would have won that hand. She's just betting it. Nothing. Like, it's crazy when, at the time, you don't steer cards, so you don't realize how bad she's playing. But a pair of eights, and what does she have? King high? It's just weird. Easy thousand. Blinds are now 60 and 120. This hand, she got extremely lucky because she bluffed her whole way and then ends up with a pair of kings. I had a pair of twos from the start. Look, this is the best way to hold your tower so that you can move around. And everything. Without it being all shaky and wobbly. I mean, here she's raising with an 8-6. Very strange. And she just keeps raising. So once again, she wins with a bluff. Putting herself back in the lead. Here she's got a nice flush. Which I just assumed she had. And I had nothing but a pair of twos. So it wasn't even worth it to me to try. Blinds are now 80 and 160. Hand number 29 out of 34. I'm down to $310. And I get this one because she's bluffing again. So when you catch her on the bluff, that's how you win. And then you just get a good hand and trap her. So for people who play like this so aggressive, that's what you have to do. A 2-8 and she raises. Like, nobody does that. Just so strange to me. Down to $680 again. And this is 31 out of 34 hands. She's just raising like crazy with a 8 high. 2 and an 8. Crazy. So I win that round, puts me back in the game. Here she goes, raising again with a 2-7. However, my hand was so bad, so I didn't even try. I was actually doing... Would have been better than her, though. So this is fun. She's going nuts over her uh, two tens. Pair of tens. Meanwhile, I got three fours, two aces, full house. So this was 33 out of 34 hands, and this is when I trap her. Go all in. She falls for it. 
just like that, I get 4.16, and she's down to $740 after leading the whole time, pretty much. She goes all in with a 9 jack. I decide to call with a 6-9. 79.5 chance, 100, there it goes. 34 out of 34 hands, and I win. Alright guys, thanks for watching. That's how you win against somebody who is constantly raising and bluffing. Just go along with it and trap them at the end. Feel free to give me a like.